I watched Let Him Have It for the first time when I was at school. I don't know why, I can't remember why or what the point was, but I watched it then and it's it left a very lasting impression on me. It's a phenomenal film, very powerful. Released in 1991, directed by Peter Medak, or Medak, and written by Neil Purvis and Robert Wade, starring Tom Courtney and Christopher Eccleston. I watched this roughly around the time I became a Doctor Who addict, so I actually think I was younger than around 15, and it is a 15. Not sure we should have been shown it at school then, but regardless, watched it, loved it. The description from IMDb is a pretty accurate um, summary of it without spoiling anything, and I won't spoil it, but the title is very important, um, but I can't really go into too much about it, but I'd love to know your thoughts on that. The description from IMDb is as follows. This drama reveals the controversial post-war 1950s London murder trial that sent a mentally handicapped young man to the gallows for a murder he did not commit. And... I mean, straight away you can tell that that is very intense, very tense and very um, intense. Eccleston plays Derek Bentley, who is our handicapped young man, and he is basically being wrongfully sent to the gallows. And it looks at how that came about and his mental state as it kind of goes up to the trial and what his involvement with this murder was or was not. And it's very, it's a film that's going to question your morals. It's going to question how the system used to be. And it's also going to question where we are today. Because I still think that British, the British legal system is far from per- perfect. There is a lot of room for improvement. The lack of gallows is obviously a huge benefit, but there are a lot of problems still. And it will make you look at what things were like then and things were like now. This film being released in in 1991 will obviously make it seem... At the time, it would have been much closer to the time of the events and it would have been quite um, difficult to watch, I think. But even now, it's really hard to watch because you know that a lot of these people... By which I mean people who are innocent of crimes or who are not as guilty as things seem are sent to prison and it's it's difficult to watch I think Eccleston's performance is fantastic he does a really brilliant job with this his performance because his performance is so powerful it makes it all the more emotional to watch I can't think of better casting he suits the role so well Um, his performance is outstanding and the narrative is beautiful I mean it's difficult to watch and it's really troubling but it's also beautiful because it's emotional it's emotive it's thought-provoking it takes all of the right boxes for the kind of things that I like from a narrative I really cannot fault the film at all if you would explained it to me at the time before I discovered my love of um, the legal system I um, I probably wouldn't have thought it would have been interesting So I was really pleasantly surprised to find that I really enjoyed it, even then. Now, absolutely love it. Really fantastic. If you haven't seen it, definitely do. Just be warned that it is an emotional roller coaster. It definitely is. But it's one that I think is completely worth the pain and the agony and the anguish. Because Let Him Have It is beautiful.